Those poor supercar owners have a bit of a problem on Monday mornings. You see, their cars might be performance packed, but they don't offer much in the way of practicality. And that isn't helpful if you've got a busy school run ahead of you. But that won't be a problem for this car. The Audi RS6 Avant Performance, which I think offers you two cars in one. This is a supercar for people who don't like the idea of a supercar. A Jekyll and Hyde on wheels that at the flick of a switch transforms itself from a great looking practical family car into an insanely fast sports car, housing a 4 litre V8 engine that can give a Ferrari or a Porsche 911 a run for its money. Looks wise, it's a wonderful combination of elegant and mean. Aggressive lines give this low slung estate serious presence on the road. And the performance model gets a sports exhaust, unique wheel design, along with grey paint detailing for the front spoiler, front grille, mirrors, rear diffuser and window trims. All in all, this is a car that demands and gets an awful lot of attention. And that's before you start the engine. Fire it up and you get just a hint of what the engine is capable of. For full on effect, you need to pop it into dynamic mode, which is just around there. Have a little play with the throttle. And you'll get the kind of rewarding crackles and pops that will guarantee to have them frowning at the school gates. So let's cut straight to the chase with this one and talk numbers, which are both high and low in exactly the right places. Low? Well, that'll be the 0-60 time of 3.7 seconds or the equally impressive 12.1 seconds it takes to go from rest to 124 miles per hour. As for the high, hmm, how does 600 brake horsepower sound? Now this model has been spent with carbon ceramic brakes, which means the speed limiter has been raised to 189 miles an hour, which is in itself a limited speed. Let's just say, it more than lives up to the performance part of its name. One of the things I love most about this car is a little button just down there that says car. It triggers the drive select system which lets you play around with the car's setup. Stick it in comfort, you get an amazing family car. The air suspension irons out bumps in the road, it flicks through the eight gears with awesome precision and the impressive grip and balance give you confidence in even the worst weather conditions. And then, when you've dropped the kids off at school and there's no risk of anyone getting sick on the school run, you can treat yourself by putting it in dynamic setting. And that makes things a lot more fun. This puts the RS6 into full-on supercar setting. The suspension dampers firm up, extra weight is added to the steering and the throttle response sharpens. It's just a joy to work that paddle shift as the exhaust crackles and pops whilst the wheels just stick to the road thanks to the Quattro technology. And all that performance and handling comes with the comforting knowledge that you've got those carbon ceramic brakes there just when you need them. Now you might not be able to have quite as much fun as you would in a car that's whole focus is on its performance, but I'm going to forgive all that for this car's ability to be able to load it up with the kids, their bikes, the dog, your bags, and head off in it for a nice long weekend somewhere. Its versatility is just staggering. Of course it goes without saying that fuel economy isn't one of its strong points. Don't judge me, but I've been averaging just below 20 miles to the gallon, quite a way below Audi's claim figure of 29 miles to the gallon. Although I do need to point out that I have become quite fond of dynamic mode. On longer journeys, my average has been far closer to the claim figures, which is remarkable for a car with the performance that this offers. Emissions, though, are similarly eye-watering. Be prepared for a hefty road tax bill, an insurance that sits in the most expensive group there is. So that's the supercar part out of the way. Let's move on to its alter ego, which is its ability to be a brilliant family car. Of course, practicality is key here, and it's got that in spades. Here at the back, well, let's just say you can fit everything a family needs, and then some, in this boot. Back seat passengers won't have any complaints either. You'll fit three child seats across the back if you need to, and there are two sets of Isofix points, along with a third in the front passenger seat. 
Here in the driver's seat, you discover an interior as precise and beautifully put together as that V8 engine is. These seats are just so comfortable. They are perfect for a long journey with plenty of adjustment for you, whatever your size or shape. So the gentle sweeping dash houses the pop-up multimedia screen. It's where you'll find all the car's various functions and all its connectivity. It's operated by this little rotary dial just down here. I mean, elsewhere, the switches are really kept to a minimum. and Most things can also be operated from here on the steering wheel. The whole feeling is one that really encases you in the car, makes you feel so comfortable in here. Um, everything is easy to operate and it just does its job with the minimum of fuss. You get some nice practical touches too. A large glove box, cup holders, decent sized door bins and handy storage compartments. It all adds up to make this a comfortable, luxurious and relaxing place to be. But it is worth remembering that in true Audi style, the options list is long, tempting and expensive. And you can easily end up specking a car that breaks the £100,000 barrier. All in all, I just can't think of another car that offers as much versatility as this one does. In fact, I can't actually think of another car quite like it at all. It's a true family supercar, albeit with a price tag to match and it's definitely in a league of its own. Click on the videos to the left or the right for some of our alternative reviews, click on the play icon for our latest video and on the logo to subscribe.